Okay, I think I was talking uh, without recording. How stupid I am. Okay. I don't think you guys can see these eagles, but that is, an, that is a lake eagle. White head lake eagle. Something is similar to the uh, eagle is on the uh, USA flag. Ah, okay. It's similar okay. color, but it's small. Okay, guys, uh, let me let me uh, repeat everything I said because I have no idea how how many things I missed because uh, my camera stopped recording out of nowhere. Uh, anyway, we were talking about uh, this lagoon. There are three islands, all three islands, there are monks are meditating inside these islands. And uh, Lahiru was explaining to me that uh, the civilians are not allowed to go inside these islands unless you have a purpose of uh, learning to meditate or uh, spending time with the monks um, uh, on religious purposes, uh, just like that. So this is one of those islands. Uh, look at this, it looks like a floating bush nothing you can see no ground at all only the trees all the trees are leaning onto the water it looks amazing so green it's like a floating uh, jungle yeah so uh, uh, we have no luck on visiting uh, any of these islands sun is uh, coming out now yes i am recording right now uh, and there are a lot of uh, fish uh, sea creatures uh, which you can eat, shrimp, crabs, sea bass, barracuda and all this stuff. So there are six villages, as Lahiru explained to me, there are six villages uh, around this lagoon and uh, all these people, uh, most of these people are doing fishing, natural fishing, they are not making any farming, uh, they just catch the crabs, uh, shrimps. Uh, and all the fish, other fish types, types, other types of fish, and they're selling it in the market, um, which is really good. Uh, I think one reason there are a lot of fish in this lagoon is there is no any motorized uh, vehicles, motorized uh, uh, boats, or anything uh, going in this lagoon. So there is uh, many peace in this uh, lagoon area for the fish to grow. Right, Lairu? Yes. Yes. So it's amazing. So we're getting closer to this uh, island. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think you, I don't think this camera will catch this. Uh, but there is a roof, I can see. There is like a small house. Uh, yeah, it's a hut. Okay, those huts are used by monks. Uh, for meditation, for their uh, living. Uh, wow, these trees look amazing. There are more than uh, 10, between 10 to 15 monks are living at the moment. In this island? In this island, uh, but uh, they don't live close to each other. Ah, uh, okay, so, so e another one is uh -huh. meters far. Okay, so that is, uh, that is the thing about uh, Meditating, you cannot interact with other people if you want to meditate in peace. Uh, you have to. Oh, there are flying fish! Wow! Wow! Did I catch that on the camera? Am I recording? Yep. Oh, the, the, this small, very small fish. Yes. They become bigger or is they become, that the. Uh, around four inches. Four inches long. So they are good to fry. Okay, so I think the, the one we they saw is like very small, right? Yeah. It's around one inch. One inch, one and a half inch maybe. Yeah. So they must grow more. Look at these uh, trees. Wow. This is very special environmental area. Because uh, where we go now, this is Rajgama Lagoon uh, Century. Rajgama Lagoon Century? Yes. Okay. It means it's protected by the government. It belongs to the government mainly and all around the islands and the land area we have a special type of uh, trees called mangrovia. Mangroves, yeah. So that, that is uh, how we, uh, the nature protect the lagoon and the land yeah. because they grow in between land and the soil water like a nature wall. 
Yeah. So what we see, all the trees belongs to the mango uh, uh, group. So we are riding very close to the island and you can see the uh, mangroves. All the trees are uh, same. Uh, yeah, so the water is clear and not so deep. But I don't dare to jump now, in. Here we can see oysters. Near to the land? All around. Here? Oysters. Okay. I think oysters. European people love to eat them. Oh, f everyone love to eat oysters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See something like a shell. White colors? This. Sometimes white color, yes. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. normally white color, but it looks like... Uh, the Maybe mud. covered with the mud, yeah. yeah. So, if someone comes here and try to uh, take the oysters, someone, somebody will uh, disturb them or they can uh, no. take? Uh, villagers, um, most of the people don't like to eat oysters, but some villagers I know, they like. So, they if, if, like. A, if a, if a, uh, if a traveller comes with you and they want to catch some oysters... We will help them. <laughs> you will help them, right? Yeah, yeah. So, nobody will disturb no, them, right? No, no. Okay. So because we are real uh, fishermen. Oh, okay, okay. So you, you're doing fishing uh, apart from this boat business? Yes. Wow, that's great. How, um, let me ask you a question. Uh, how you survive uh, last uh, year? I think uh, starting from March, they After closed the airport, closed right? Mass. So now it's February uh, 2021, so it's 11 months. I think already it's, 11 months. It's nearly two years for us because after the bomb blasting, Ah, okay. It so all the areas tourism. of tourism. Yeah. So mm. last, it was more uh, bad. Uh, I think uh, in last eleven months, then we start. We had to start several other things to earn. Like, like a secondary business. E yes. Mm. Earning by fishing and earning by making something and selling. So this is everything you are doing uh, within the family, yes. like a family business. Yeah, yeah. That's great. It was a, it was a really bad year, 2020. Yeah. Uh, no doubt, <laughs> everyone will agree with that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. People never like to give up, so they find new ways. We are still uh, going around this, uh, the first island we saw, Boathouse. This one belongs to who? This one belongs to the uh, island for the monks. So some, it's like uh, once a year there is a big uh, ceremony happening. Okay. So new people becoming Buddhist monks. Uh, for the new monks? Yes. Ah, okay. So this is uh, something like Upasampada? Yes. Ah, so okay. This one is uh, the Sima Malak. Okay, so this is a this is a uh, um, uh, this is a b uh, structure which is built for a Buddhist uh, religious uh, festival. Actually, it's not for the uh, the normal people. It's only for the monks. So yeah, it looks nice. So once a year, they're gonna. Uh, do a, a festival, not a festival, a ceremony. Uh, to uh, uh, it's like a, it's like a graduation for the people. This thing is for the the monks. So that's the one. And we are turning the boat slightly, and we are going back. I guess. Wow, the wind is very nice. Look at this. Look at this view. What else can be better? than this wow there are some birds so we call them the best diving birds here diving birds they call comorons comorons so these okay. comorons can dive nearly 3 meter deep so a minute maybe under the water for so hunting fish you can see on the tree top of the tree 
Okay, there. Okay, I am sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You cannot see that because the the lens is wide. But there are birds over there. Like one, two, three, four, five. There are many, right? Many. Yeah, there are many Cameroons which can dive up to three meters and stay under the water around one minute. That's how they are uh, catching fish. Wow. I think this is the first time I'm seeing this bird. Um, I think there are a lot of uh, Cameroons there because these uh, leaves are right. full of the poop yeah. of the birds, I think, yeah. So these birds stay here all the time. So they, they live as a bunch? Yes. Group? Until it's getting dark. Ah, okay. So one is okay, good. there is a the guy, there is a the guy, that one, that one, okay, he left. Okay, that's the one, if you can see, that's the one. <coughs> I'm gonna give camera a rest. I'll be back uh, after a while. Um, we will go to the other side of the lagoon. So, yep. And there is another fisherman coming towards us. Okay, these are the seagulls. You can see uh, they are uh, waiting for their evening snack. Yep. Seagulls can dive also, right? Uh, yes, they just come to the surface and catch fish. Okay. Mama! Not for diving. Okay. That uncle is uh, going to find some fish. It's the seagulls. only one seagull which is not camera shy others are camera shy anyway this uh, sunlight is uh, a little bit difficult but it looks really nice when you look at the water the reflection of the sunlight is amazing uh, it's like a golden water yeah right now when we start there was uh, no such thing but right now uh, the wind is a little bit more than the time we started so you can see there is a there are some waves look at these waves uh, that's the one uh, hitting the boat like this recording yep so it's it's a nice experience guys I mean uh, if anyone visit uh, Hikkadua consider taking this uh, this kind of tour I mean uh, I will put uh, Lahiru's uh, information in the description so if anyone want to find his place you can come and uh, visit him uh, he will he will help you out to go take this lagoon tour and uh, uh, see all the places uh, with his uh, raft and he has kayaking also anyway um, I'm not gonna do any kayaking today um, or else if you want I mean there are a lot of options available, uh, so just check it out. I mean, this is this is one thing I have never seen uh, uh, any of the travelers uh, posted in uh, YouTube. Uh, 
Um, just try this out. I mean, it's it's really nice. I mean, you have to experience the lagoon uh, ride. Yep. It's just like another world. All all this mainland. This is land side. This is land. So uh, this one island. Okay, there is another island here. Okay. I think this is a bigger one than uh, yeah, this island. One. This is a bigger island. Uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. So this this uh, those are the cinnamon bushes. Okay. I can see it, guys. I don't think you can see it uh, because it's very far. Uh, this is a, this is a cinnamon island, and people are growing cinnamon there. So, um, and there is uh, some uh, construction work also going on. We cannot go there, right? Ah, okay. So this time of the year, the, uh, they are growing the trees. Yes. Still, uh, harvesting time is not uh, there. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. So we came in the wrong time. Um, probably there is no one. Yeah, yeah, the, the new trees, those, those trees are new, uh, they look uh, light green color. So we are slowly, slowly, slowly heading to this side, to this side, uh, and if you ride this way, uh, probably that way or that way, you can reach the sea. Mehengi or the sea? Okay, if you... Uh, water tank, water tank, water tank, Oh. Okay, so there, there is a, there is a... Um, way to reach the sea from that side and if you ride from there you can move to the sea you can go to the sea uh, so that's the that's the entrance to the bay from the sea and uh, there are, these are the islands this island is almost connected to the land but it's considered as an island because if you see there is no like, uh, you cannot go around it, but this is considered as an island, and uh, this is the cinnamon island. Uh, probably I have to come back here another time to see the cinnamon harvesting and production uh, process. How many years uh, you are doing this uh, rafting? I think uh, father started more than 20 years. So your father started first more than 20, over 20 years ago? Adding more boats, and this so, one, this one called dual catamaran. 
Okay. In Sinhalese we call Paru. Eh? Paru, yeah. So this is the real way for transporting people, all the things. Yeah, yeah. In the, in the old times, uh, yes. this was the only way. Traditional that, uh, way. Yeah. And um, I mean, before this pandemic starts, you, you had more people uh, uh, doing this yeah, rafting yeah. with you? Yeah, because uh, when it is uh, season, okay. so most of the time we are busy when the people come and ask, we say we have be booked already, so they have to go back and come back later. So it was a real busy schedule. Yeah. One time we do one tour only, so we don't take another team in the same time. We like to have the fish and we like to have the nature very quiet. So in the season we are busy, but off season not much visitors. So now it Sometimes is. Sometimes you get uh, more people uh, uh, to help you with this. Uh, yeah, we have villagers, and uh, most of the people who comes with us they are relatives. So one time I remember we had uh, 22 people in in one group. 22 people yeah. in one group. We, ha we have already we have another uh, dual catamaran, so we adding another one and another one, fixing. So it, yeah, it's, it's so like a platform, stage. a big yeah. one. <laughs> wow. People can sit and stand while we are riding. Pedaling is a hard job. It's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's nearly uh, two, two kilos, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. But we use. But to when you it. when you uh, put the pedal deeper, it's, uh, it's harder <laughs> to uh, pedal. Yeah. But I think this one is. Uh, it's for us. It's usually. Now it's it uh, like with the practice, like right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm getting tired when I walk than this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good workout. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really a good, uh, same like a gym. So we get it. Uh, even, the, even the gym, they have this uh, <laughs> paddling machine. Uh, it's the same, uh, same, uh, yeah, same way, but using the both hands. Yeah. And uh, who is living around this uh, area? So normally, uh, fishermen, if they are getting older, more than 80. So they are still fit to go for fishing. So I think that is why they, since they are child, they do this yeah. everyday sport. So they, they don't have any bad uh, uh, illness, sugar or diabetic, cholesterol. So they are really free. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's, it's, it's nice to see. I mean, you're, you're from a young generation and uh, you're into this business, and you, which is coming from your father, and it's really nice to see. I mean, a lot of young youngsters, they want to uh, go somewhere, leave the family business. They want to wear a white shirt yeah. and sit on an office. And <laughs> oh, this I is think, my... uh, everybody is dying one day. So this is one, uh, I think this is one way we can live real, in reality, every moment. Yeah. So with the nature, it means we live every moment without distress. Exactly. Without any any problems, so when we see the view, we forget everything. <laughs> exactly. So I, I never like to leave this lagoon. I mean, no no schedule, no rules. No, no. Yeah, live your life yeah. uh, in your own way. <laughs> That's the way it should be. <laughs> so we we earn and we we uh, spend. Yeah. So we are slowly, slowly uh, getting to the. We started from. Do you, do you see the orange color roof? There, right? Like a boat. Fresh yeah. Roof. Okay. Uh, for, to the camera, you cannot see it, but right over there, we started our tour, and we went around, the around this uh, the island in the middle. We went around that one, and then we came this way. Um, how many? How many kilometers do you think? Like. Oh. come here we already uh, passed nearly 2 kilometers 2 kilometers so the circle the circle from there to here we al already finish um, more than 2 kilometers and we are again near to this uh, mangroves 
Okay. What do, what you see maybe you, you will think it's a bunch of trees. Okay. But this is one tree growing like a group. Only one Only tree. Only one tree growing like a big one. Wow. So they have a special flower. This one. This is a flower, but it look like a wooden flower. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, hard and uh, the and thing is, they become a seed later. Okay. A long seed. Is there a fruit coming from no. this? No. You cannot one eat tree, anything? There, there is a one tree which has a fruit, eatable. Okay. So, they call uh, king's fruit. King's fruit? Yes. This one you cannot eat, right? Kerala. Kerala. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so the, the king's fruit, fruit is the... Kerala, uh, king's fruit or the Kerala, the, the Sri Lankan name is the Kerala is the only fruit as we know that you can eat which is edible but these ones uh, you cannot eat but it looks really nice it's it's a very hard see i will try to bend it it breaks it doesn't bend it just breaks see it's like uh, yeah uh, oh, okay there is another flower the red color flower it become a seed later as i as i told you ah, this okay. is the seed but more later it become more dark and low, so then it will fall to the lagoon and the water waves bring it to another land to make it uh, another tree. Okay, so so this is the this is the seed. This is the flower. This flower become this uh, this kind of seed, and um, it will it will fell down to the water, and the water will carry it to somewhere else, uh, and it will grow again. Uh, in another near to another land so yep wonders of nature nice this is nice and this is the other one this one I didn't see the seed but uh, it's just I think it's like a small uh, round one wow. look at this Probably these uh, mangroves are like hundreds of years, right? Uh, maybe more. Maybe more. Yes. Wow. So that's why, guys, don't destroy the nature because uh, it takes more more time to grow. It's also illegal to cut. It's illegal to cut. Okay. So it's protected by the, by the law. Uh, law. Okay. That's nice. The main thing is mangrovia is the uh, nature protector of this lagoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing, they do uh, many things for the water. Another thing, they are protecting the land from the waves and windy. So no yeah. earth damage. When it is, uh, it's like a nature wall. Exactly. So what, what they do to the water, they clean the water. They have lots of roots. Okay. The roots are real filters. So they're filtering uh, poisons and other bad things out of the water. Another thing is, they have lots of spaces for the uh, crabs, prawns, and fishes for breeding and growing. So, uh, the, the crabs and the yeah. prawns, they are breeding in the mangroves? Yeah. Okay. So most, sometimes we can see the baby crabs hanging on the roots. Okay, I we wish try I can to find them. <laughs> and we have uh, something looks like crocodiles. They call uh, monitor lizard. Monitor lizard, yeah. yeah. And they, uh, uh, they, they are, uh, it's like, uh, they have lots of food, what they like to have, so they are always uh, uh, catching fishes or prawns and sometimes birds. So they are, they are living in the mongru areas, so always we meet them in, inside the mongroos. Are, are they attacking uh, fishermen or...? Uh... No, until we, uh, by accident, if, if we go directly to them, they try to survive while attacking people oh, okay. maybe. Only, only on that purpose, uh, otherwise uh, not like never, crocodiles, right? Follow. Not so like crocodiles, they, they will not harm no, anyone no. on purpose. Okay. I think crocodiles are similar because they never like to uh, fight with uh, humans. 
Oh, this is the this is that uh, cinnamon island we saw yes. from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. This is that uh, that is the building I was telling that uh, they are doing some construction, and uh, those are the those are the trees, the young trees, uh, still growing. So these uh, cinnamon trees once they grow, is it a tree or a bush? It's, it's a tree. But I think it's a tree, right? Yeah, it, it's a tree. And it don't cut the harvest every six months they're growing big okay Maybe so 10 meters 20 meters tall yeah okay <laughs> so cinnamon yeah. trees you need to cut uh, every six months you need to harvest it otherwise uh, it will be it will become uh, huge trees then you will not be able to uh, harvest it it will become a mature tree uh, so these these uh, you can see these light green color trees those are those those are the uh, cinnamon trees once these trees are uh, grown enough to harvest uh, they will cut the trees and they will take uh, the the tree uh, what do you call uh, the the skin of the tree the outer skin of the tree they will uh, peel off and that is the that is the cinnamon and they will roll it as sticks so those are the cinnamon sticks i wish i can uh, show you guys but it's still not the harvesting time still they are growing the trees that's why uh, the trees look uh, light green color this is going to be a longer video but it's fine i mean uh, i'm glad i took this tour today uh, yeah, a lot of new things I've seen and yeah, there are there are different different kinds of uh, trees you can see. May 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 come another way? May come a palm tree again. Oh? Okay, again, ginga again. Okay, so it's something like a fire palm tree. Uh, it's I think it's kind of a palm tree family, but. Okay, so yeah, it, it's directly uh, coming from the water. You can see the, some leaves, same like the palm leaves, coconut leaves. I think it's the same family, but um, I'm not sure. This is what I was telling you. This tall tree, I mean, yeah, the water, this first tree, the second one. That tree is a cinnamon tree. Mega. Yeah, so this that that tree will start from the tree starts from here. Uh, wait a second! Wow, look at this! Look at this mangroves. Make it. Okay, so this is the this is the cinnamon tree. Let me take a leaf. Wow, the smell is amazing. So much aroma, so much uh, freshness, herbiness. Wow, I love the smell uh, of these cinnamon leaves. And this is a tree. This is a huge tree, huge cinnamon tree. So this is what happens if you leave the tree without harvesting it. I think some people try to take some parts of... Uh, <laughs> okay, Lahiru took, Lahiru took this, uh, the, the peel of this, uh, the skin of the tree. He tried to uh, take it, uh, but I think still it's uh, hard, not soft like the, the cinnamon. Wow, this is the, this is the cinnamon tree and uh, let me check for a smaller one. Yeah, smell of this cinnamon leaves are amazing, really. How many of you have uh, tried uh, squeezing a cinnamon leaf and smell it? Wow, this is great. <laughs> I'm covered with cinnamon leaves.
మేము పెలకరాని పూలు అందా ఇత్తం కడల సో లైర్ ఈస్ క్లైంబింగ్ ఓకే సో దీస్ ఆర్ దంగ్ యంగ్ సినిమా స్టిక్స్ which you can uh, take the skin okay this is uh, yeah it's not easy to break okay here we go safely on board and we are going back and some some people they throw plastic cans and uh, some metal bottles and some uh, plastic bags don't do this people that is the that is the worst thing you can do i mean you enjoy the nature and you destroy it leave it for another person okay sun is slowly going down there is no more uh, direct sunlight we can see and the lagoon looks amazing water looks uh, silver color and uh, we have this cinnamon okay okay so this is the this is the cinnamon uh, this is the one uh, this is the one uh, comes to your kitchen as cinnamon they take this scrap the skin they clean this and then they roll it like a sticks like sticks and then it will comes to you they will make it dry first there are a lot of trees still we are passing are make the anna sigiri banane edi enna thavu mala ah okay megat are vishesha ala rosa mala Okay. Okay, there is another flower uh, we pick and um, in the morning time with the with the sunshine uh, it becomes uh, pink color, right? Yellow. Yellow color. And in the evening it become uh, pinkish uh, orange. In the night it become red. Wow. What a what a color change. Um and it looks really nice if you can see the yeah so we pick this is the salt water palm tree the one we saw from the distance and there is another tree with white color flowers that one kadurud రైట్ 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 మే మునాది అండి మే యా there is a tree uh, which makes uh, what do you call uh, <coughs> this uh, traditional uh, mask these are not the mask that you are using the, th- the three ply mask you are using these days these are the mask that you are using for uh, decoration like uh, traditional uh, uh, dancing events you wear this mask and you represent uh, some other a uh, person or a character or something like that like a, some has like a devil face some has like a, um a human face like some popular characters so this mask uh, making is one of the uh, popular uh handcraft there is a bird 
sitting on the rock yep but you cannot see it it's too far <laughs> if we go near he will okay this is the the Sri Lankan name of this bird is Kirala This tree also gives a fruit which you can eat, uh, which is purple color. So uh, Sri Lankans call it purple tree. I mean, yeah, it sounds like that, but uh, it's not exactly. So this cinnamon thing, um, it's really nice, guys. The things you can do here is like limitless. You can watch the birds, you can study the trees, you can, uh, if you want, you can do fishing, you can catch the crabs or uh, shrimp or whatever, the other sea creatures which you can eat. Uh, you can take photographs. Yeah, even if you want to spend one whole day, I think it's possible. Uh, so, yep, this is my first time to visit uh, Lagoon. Um, I have visited before uh, when I was a kid, but that time I don't have any idea what the hell was going on. But right now I can see things, I can understand things, how, how, how things work here, how trees grow here. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end my video right here. So we we we're gonna we're gonna uh, make another round. Oh, which side we need to go? That side, right? Behind us we start. Now we go. Uh, there's a uh, it's like a little river area, but ending in 500 meters. So we go one of uh, one corner of the lagoon. One corner of the lagoon. Is there anything interesting to see there? Like uh, uh, there, are, there are some some areas you can find the flying fox. Flying fox? Yes. Huge flying fox, nearly one meter size. Fox? Yes. Nari? No, no. Vowl unte kya ni loku ek. Ah, the the bats, the 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 big kind of the bat, bigger kind of the bats, the one with the four legs, but yes. they have like connected. Yes. Uh, okay, the flying fox. Okay, 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 fox. okay, 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 okay. I, I've never seen those things, uh, that's why I'm uh, confused. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, there is, There are some people kayaking over there. No, it's a uh, traditional uh, catamaran. Probably. It's a catamaran? Okay, a single one? Single one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I think okay. the villagers, they are villagers and try to ride with the family. The water is really nice and warm. The water is really nice and warm. Uh, yeah. It's so, uh, so let's try to find some uh, flying fox. So there is another interesting thing I found. Uh, you can see this white color floating object and you can see that the boatman over there. I know it's kind of smaller but uh, I'm trying to explain, uh, there is a line uh, which is going from this floating object to the boat and that main line has like a sub lines hanging uh, uh, all the way from here to there and all these sub lines have the hooks, right? Yes. The fishing, fishing hooks. So these fishing hooks, um, uh, he will put the baits and then uh, the fishes will come and this is like, a, oh, I think he's, he's, he's taking a fish yes, cat, right now. It's a catfish. Catfish? Yes. Wow. All these fishes are expensive items. <laughs> really? Catfish is uh, quite cheaper than sea bass. Catfish but is cheaper than sea bass, yeah. but it's a, it's a very delicate fish. I mean, yeah, very tasty. Yeah. One kilo maybe 350. Selling price. Selling price. Okay. So this, uh, this, this fisherman can uh, catch multiple fish at yes. one time. 
uh, by using his uh, line. So the fish will uh, take the bait and uh, he will start collecting the, uh, the what do you call, uh, unfolding the line uh, slowly and he will catch fish. I think he's right now he's uh, collecting the fish. Line. Yeah. So since the morning he's doing this, uh, when there's no bait on of the hook, so he put the new one and wait. So every 30 minutes he check the line and take the fish into the boat. Okay, so all day he's doing the same yeah. thing? Uh, yes. Okay, he so every 30 minutes? around there. So he just go there for maybe for the lunch or drinking a tea at just okay. a little moment. So if, if someone uh, doing like this, how, how, how much, how many fish they can catch like uh, per day? Like if, if somebody work like six hours, how many fish? Like 20, uh, 30, 40? Um, it depends. Maybe 30 uh, or sometimes no. no <laughs> sometimes no fish also. <laughs> okay. So average is like 20, 30 fish yeah. you can uh, catch. So normally uh, one fish is so, uh, how grams. One fish is 200 grams, small fish. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how the people will sell the fish? They need we to directly, bring it? No, uh, maybe you remember you pass a bridge before you come to my place. Yeah. Uh, next to the bridge there is a local fish market. So uh -huh. Afternoon he go uh, to the fish market directly and start to sell to the uh, buyers. It's like middleman. Okay, so he will he will uh, sell it to uh, another yes. another salesman retailer. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Some people uh, have a little box behind their bicycle or motorbike. So they okay. go around. They will around do the they will do direct selling uh, yes. to the houses. Yes. Okay. So the people have choices. If they if they don't want to waste more time, spend more time on selling they can sell it to a retailer or else they can uh, get a, a bicycle or a motorbike they can put the fish there in a box and they can just go door to door and sell their fish so these are the options and there is another bird, comoron. Diving bird. another comoron yes it looks very proud Probably he had enough food and resting right now. And we are... Okay, I think he's going to fly. Yep. Okay, it's never finishing, never ending the videos, right? That's how it works. My battery is getting low and low. So, I hope it will last okay. Okay, here we go. You can see the common. Okay, nice. Nice, he's gone. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So you can see the duplicate pineapple here. If anyone want to earn money, come here, get these pineapples and sell them. But don't stay in the area, sell it and run away. Uh, we'll try to go near. Yeah, it, it, it exactly looked like a pineapple without the, the flower. This is the fake pineapple, we are getting closer, yep. Okay, this is the, this is the fake pineapple. Yep. But this one is poisonous and uh, useless. Only the, only the appearance.
Ah, yeah, okay, okay, here we go, guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You can see more of these pineapples. Look at this. Look at this and this one. Uh, yeah. It become red color, like that, when it's ripe. And these are the, this is that uh, wooden flower tree. This one. Maybe you cannot hear me because the camera is away from me. I was trying to show you guys the pineapples and the flowers. Anyway, before my battery dies, I will uh, give a camera a rest. If I find something interesting, I'll switch it back on. Amazing trip, guys. Amazing. Really. Highly recommended to take this trip and uh, search the things here. Okay, I am picking this purple fruit. This one. This one, okay. See these uh, fruits? This is how people take these fruits. Uh, you cannot walk here, so you have to uh, take your boat and then you have to pick all these fruits. There are more inside, but uh, it's not easy to reach. One more, one more, yep, okay. This is a lot. Okay, so the, look at this color. This is the. This is why it's called uh, purple fruit. And uh, this is uh, safe to eat. It has like, uh, what do you call, uh, Still not enough. Hmm. Need to ripe more. So once you eat this fruit, your mouth will become purple. Yep. Okay. There is a, there are a lot of uh, bats. <laughs> look at this look at those bats look at those bats so when we make sound when we make noise they start flying look at these guys I hope they will not come and attack us okay so we make them fly by making some noise Sorry bats, I had to do it for the content. <laughs> Look at the way they fly, it's so amazing, so nice. Isn't it, isn't it great guys? Look at the sky, hundreds of bats flying to the same direction and there are more, there are more in those trees. You can see this like fruits, but there's not fruits. Those are bats. Okay, here we go, here we go. There's more coming. Wow. 
Wow, still there are more of them still start flying. Wow, this is great. I hope I'm still recording. Yeah, my battery is about to die, guys. I mean, don't mind if the video ends uh, suddenly. Just enjoy the views of the bat, bats, view of the bats. Yeah, more of them. So they, they left these trees and they uh, went to the, the trees uh, over there because we disturbed them. They didn't like it. Do not disturb the nature guys. Don't do what I did, okay? Just one time. Yeah. Wow. It's, it is an amazing view. Amazing view. So these guys are carrying coronavirus. Bats. Huh? Bats have coronavirus, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chinese people, don't try to eat these bats, okay? They're carrying coronavirus. I'm kidding, guys. Not all the Chinese people eating bats. Only some of them. So we are heading back to the place where we started and uh, it's going to be the end of our journey. Uh, we have to go over there a little more, 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 more. I'm going to help Lahiru and his father by paddling a little bit and uh, my battery is about to die. So it's a great trip. Next time. The sun hiding behind the clouds. I think that's gonna be the last scenery of the this video.